Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at Hot Docs in downtown Toronto. I'm here with Lori Kahn. How does it feel to have your film, Love Between the Covers, playing here at Hot Docs? Uh, thrilling. <laughs> I mean, it's the international premiere of the film. I literally finished the film last week, so um, it's exciting. And for those who don't know what H-E-A means, what that's referring to, tell me, tell me about it. So the H-E-A is the happily ever after. And there are two criteria that the Romance Writers of America have for what counts as a romance novel. And one is that the central story of the novel has to be about the couple. It has to be about the romance, the courtship, the romance. And secondly, it must end optimistically with either a happily ever after, um, but it doesn't have to be, or happy for now, H-E, happy H-F-N. <laughs> but most people, but people talk about the H-E-A all the time in the business. And I think the important thing about that is that these books fundamentally, I think, are about hope. I think it's about the possibility. Women are reading that there can be a good, decent, respectful, loving relationship. and she got it in the book and sort of how did that happen and there are all these ups and downs and obstacles and and i think that a lot of women are reading for it's like when you read a mystery if you had a murder at the beginning and it wasn't solved by the end of the mystery you'd feel cheated yes absolutely and there's a little there is a stigma around ro this romance genre but uh the numbers behind how many people are reading these books you know, really back it up. So can you tell me the exact number? Was it 75 million a year or something? Right. So yeah. 75 million Americans read at least one romance novel a year. And most of them will read, you know, 10 a month, 10 a week. Wow. They're voracious readers. So, and it's a, a multi-billion dollar business, B, with a B, billion. And it's not taken seriously, but it's really keeping the publishing business afloat. I mean, a lot of other divisions of these big publishing houses are being, you know, helped along by the profits and romance. And in the film, you have so many inspiring women where, you know, we learn about their stories. But tell me about meeting these women and, you know, what they meant to you as a filmmaker. Um, I'm interested. It's a very entrepreneurial community. I mean, you really sort of make your own... Um, business in a sense and yet business and community are completely intertwined in this community and I think it happens in most female economies anything that's sort of by women for women about women you can't separate business and community it's all you know one and the same and so I just plunged into the community and met lots of people at readers conferences at writers conferences at local meetings local chapters and I had no idea what the range was. I mean, it's people from every class, every education level, every race, every, every sexuality. It's like not what I expected. I mean, I, like others, thought, oh, it's, you know, people up in their, you know, top floors eating chocolates and crying over their typewriters. I mean, not true at all. And one thing that really struck me about the film was the level of mentorship uh, that this community has. So can you speak to, you know, just seeing these women helping each other out and giving so much to one another? I mean, the ethic in this community isn't just, they talk about paying it forward, and it's not just lip service. I mean, they all told me stories of somebody who helped them out when they got started. And so that person said, don't thank me, pay it forward someday yourself. And it really happens. I mean... You see experienced authors helping out newbies um, in workshops, one-on-one, -on -one, saying, hey, you know, at the bar, at these conferences, hey, who are you? Is this your first time? What are you writing? And then offering to read something. I mean, that does not happen in mystery or sci-fi or these other genre. Um, in fact, the women who are newbies wouldn't be at these conferences. But the romance writers are like, you interested in writing something? Come on in. We'll teach you how to do it. And where's the best place for us to find out more information on you and the film online? Well, we have um, lovebetweenthecovers.com is our website. And at the website, you can link to our Facebook page, our Twitter, our 
our you can follow us on our mail on our mailing newsletter e newsletter which you have to go to the bottom of our homepage and and hit follow um, and we also have a Tumblr account so all of those you can link to from lovebetweenthecovers.com and on our homepage they can see our trailer and I have to ask you what the subjects of the film thought of like what the community has thought of the film so far well we had a, a kind of sneak preview screening at the Library of Congress in this gorgeous um, historic building, the one with the big reading room that everyone's seen, mosaic ceilings, it's just beautiful. And it was a packed house, 500 people, and all the main characters were there. So Q&A was me and the main characters, and some of them hadn't met each other, and they, I mean, they brought the house down. And, and they loved the film, which was really gratifying to me when you get that close to someone and you have hundreds if not thousands of hours of footage and you're distilling it down to one film um, you worry that you know did was the balance right did you really get their characters right and they were all they were they were all really pleased and I was it was nice it was really nice well thank you so much and congratulations on the film Thank you very, very much, and congratulations on your show, too. Oh, thank you. I'm Katie Allman, reporting for Katie Chats at Hot Docs in downtown Toronto.